Did you know Wimbledon makes more money in two weeks than AC Milan make in a year? In 2022, the most prestigious tennis tournament generated £350 million in revenue. That is more than all but 12 of the top clubs in European football. This number has risen an incredible £200 million in the last 10 years. But how? Global sporting events generally make their money from a few key revenue streams. Media rights, commercial sponsorships, ticketing and hospitality, food and drink, and concessions. And Wimbledon is no different. Let's look at media rights. These account for over half the total revenue, with the UK and the US markets contributing the majority. The BBC is the long-standing partner in the UK. Although the exact number is a closely guarded secret, based on the total revenue and the percentage that we know media rights contributes, it is thought that the BBC pays more than the £70 million a year they pay for Match of the Day. In the US, ESPN has agreed a mega 12-year deal rumoured to be worth £66 million a year. Now, there's a reason these broadcasters want to pay this much money for Wimbledon. Last year, over 275 million hours of content was consumed, with over 54 million streams on BBC iPlayer and BBC Sport. The men's final drew in an audience of 11.3 million and the women's 4.5 million. With this many eyeballs on the tournament, brands naturally want a piece of the pie. But Wimbledon does things a little differently. Unlike many sports tournaments, Wimbledon values long-term partnerships with minimum advertising space available. The highly valuable Wimbledon brand is the key here. And companies like Evian, Ralph Lauren, Jaguar Land Rover, IBM, all buy into this. Much like the media rights, the total figures around these brand deals are not known, but it is thought that they also generate over £70 million. Much like the Masters, Wimbledon are leaving a lot of commercial income on the table, but these most prestigious sports tournaments are focusing more on their brand and less on maximising commercial potential. Tickets and hospitality, of course, play a huge role in driving revenue. The 15,000-seater centre court sells tickets for the first few days at £90, and these rise incrementally throughout the two weeks to £275 for the finals. Many fans love to get their hands on the ground pass, which provides access to all courts apart from centre court, court one and court two. Now, at the start of the tournament, these are more expensive due to the greater volume of tennis played on the show courts, starting at £30 and decreasing to £20 for the final few days. For a more premium experience, there are multiple tiers of hospitality available. The most expensive being the exclusive La Gavroche, which will set you back £2,300 per person, which includes luxury food and drink and excellent seats on centre court. If you want an enhanced experience at a more affordable price, the Lawn Hospitality is available at £885 per person. One of the biggest financial injections comes from debentures. But what are these? Well, think of them as long-term season tickets, and they come at a price. There are 2,520 debentures available on Centre Court. In the current five-year cycle, which runs from 2021 to 2025, these are sold for £80,000, or £16,000 a year. In the next cycle, from 2026 to 2030, these are going to increase 45% to £116,000, or £23,000 a year. That's serious money. They are also now available on Court 1, which has recently undergone a major transformation with the new roof being installed a few years ago, supposedly at a cost of £71 million. 1,250 debentures have been made available on the court. The first cycle runs from 2022 to 2026 and has been sold for £46,000 a debenture, or £9.2,000 a year. This generates £57.5 million for the club. Wimbledon is also very famous for some of its food, drink and merchandise. But what about the contribution to the overall sum? Well, all of this generates over £15 million a year. Starting with the most iconic, there are over 166,000 portions of strawberries and cream that are consumed per tournament. Now in 2010, these were made available for £2.50 and unlike many things, that has stayed the same. You will still be able to buy them for £2.50 if you go this year. However, going slightly up the value chain, over 300,000 glasses of PIMS are consumed each year, along with 22,000 bottles of champagne. For the merchandise, the options are extensive. Everything from branded towels in the famous purple and green, available at £39, to bespoke Ralph Lauren jumpers retailed at £179. If you really want to splash out, you can get your hands on a signed photograph of Andy Murray for £200. Now, with the major income streams established, what about the prize money? All four Grand Slam tournaments have equal pay across the men's and women's draws. The total prize pot for this year is a record £50 million, with £35 million of that attributed to both singles championships. This is the biggest sum to date, up £5.3 million from 2023. Now, just getting to the first round of the tournament guarantees you an excellent payday, but let's have a look at what you get at each stage. So if you make it to the first round, that's a guaranteed £60,000. 
Second round, 93,000. Third round, 143,000. Fourth round, 226,000. The quarterfinals, 375,000. The semifinals, 715,000. For the runner up, 1.4 million. And for the winner, an incredible 2.7 million pound prize. Now, alongside the revenue streams and the prize money, there lie some pretty cool stats. Did you know that over 54,000 balls are used throughout the tournament? The used balls go on sale for £2.50 per can of three, and all proceeds go to the Wimbledon Foundation. Looking at accommodation and what the tournament does to the prices in the surrounding area, as you'd expect, they rise significantly. Renting a room will cost you a minimum of £700 a week, and if you want to take a house, it's likely to cost you over £2,000 for the week. But that's nothing compared to what the top players will pay for the best properties in the area. It's thought that these houses can be let for over £100,000 a week or £15,000 a night. That's a trip to the fourth round just to pay for the accommodation. Sporting events that unwaveringly put values ahead of commercial gain are increasingly rare. Wimbledon may leave money on the table, but it's the prestige and the exclusivity which makes this tournament so special. In what is debatably the most open Wimbledon in years, the race for the coveted trophies and the £2.7 million checks is well and truly on.